Trains in India versus trains in China. This is a train in India. Sorry that's the wrong clip I apologize this is a train in India. And this is a high speed train in China. And this is a high speed train in the US. I'm sorry that's just a train America doesn't have high speed rail. Look at the state of that track it's almost as unstable as America's economy. Hey hold on a second this video is not about America. This video is about India versus China. Before we get started I want to be clear here this video is not paid for or sponsored by anyone. Not the Indian government not the Chinese government no one, and I don't know if. You can tell I'm not Indian or Chinese so I'm a completely unbiased neutral party. In this case, let us begin. Welcome to India. India currently has a very large rail network of 65,000 kilometers covering most of the country. But none of it is high speed India's current fastest train. Is the Vandi Bharat Express with a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. The Indian rail network is so huge that it has its own ministry and separate budget in parliament. It is also one of the largest employers in the world with more than 1.3 million employees. The number of people who travel on India's trains per day is more than the entire population of Australia every year more people travel on the India rail system than there are people on earth in the year of 2019 it had transported a staggering 8.4 billion people however India's rail is in desperate need of an upgrade with around 30 percent of its line still running on diesel India's Ministry of Rail has Pledged to electrify all routes by 2024 India currently has no high-speed rail, but it is planning to develop some in the next 10 years for China on the other hand it's an entirely different story in just over a decade China has built over 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail with trains traveling at speeds of between 300 to 350 kilometers per hour. It is the world's longest high-speed rail network and the most extensively used. China's high-speed rail accounts for two-thirds of the world's total high-speed rail networks. There's no other country in the world that even comes close for comparison in second. Place is Spain with 4,000 kilometers that's 10 times less than China's. But China's not stopping there under construction is another whopping 30 kilometers, which by 2035 will bring their total network to an astonishing 70,000 kilometers. China's network literally connects every single major city in the entire country. It has greatly reduced travel time and has transformed Chinese society and economy. For example if you were to take a train from Beijing in the north of China. All the way to the south in Guangzhou a journey of more than 2,000 kilometers on a conventional train. Would take you about 22 hours but now it only takes 8. The Shanghai Maglev is the world's first high-speed commercial magnetic levitation line and reaches a top speed of 430 km per hour it is the only link in the world currently carrying passengers using magnetic levitation rather than a conventional steel wheels on steel rails but wait hold on a second China's not finished just yet in 2020 China started testing a Maglev prototype train that runs at 600 km per hour yes you heard that correctly I said 600. The top speed makes the train the fastest ground vehicle in the world. At 600 km per hour it would take only two and a half hours to travel from Beijing to Shanghai a journey of more than a thousand kilometers by comparison that same journey would take you three hours on a plane they're going quicker than planes now. For the Beijing Winter Olympics China put to use a custom-made high-speed train linking Beijing and Zhang Jiako the co-host cities of the games this Winter Olympics theme train includes lockers for ski gear and a newsroom capable of 5G assisted live streaming all the while traveling at a maximum speed of 350 km per hour with fully automated driving Lincoln you've been on a high-speed train before haven't you? It's just way more convenient than taking a flight, but you know you've got countries that don't have any high-speed rail system aka America you know and they're going to say oh wow. 
Well, I prefer to take a flight or I like to drive my vehicle right, but what you've got to think about when especially when you're taking a flight is you've got to go to the airport. Two hours before you've got a check-in you've got to go through security. You've then got to wait for your flight maybe a flight's delayed. Then you've got to board the flight you've got to sit on the flight however long it is. Then once you arrive maybe it's delayed again you're delayed on the air on the airport when you land and then you've got to go and find your case and then it's just a huge hassle right. Or you can just pop on a nice high-speed train you take your luggage with you it comes with you. It just goes above your seat and also when you're buying your ticket you buy it online. Or on your phone obviously but nowadays it's linked to your passport if you're a foreigner. Or if you're Chinese it's linked to your i.d and you don't even need a physical ticket and you don't even need to show an electronic copy of the ticket it's linked directly to your passport. It's so easy you just scan in and you're in you're on the train and you're away that's it. Anyway so what do you guys think India versus China who has the best trains? So with that that is the end of this video I will see you in the next one if you want to. Help me out on this video press like 